What is up team? Welcome back to the work method and welcome to day five of the Apex program. We have a fun workout in the books for today. We got a little arms and abs workout. Let's hop into our first movement. I'll walk us through a quick warm up with that and then we'll jump into it. We got three movements we're gonna start out with. We're gonna start out with a dumbbell concentration curl. So I'm gonna set a timer. We got a minute and a half to warm up. You can grab some light dumbbells here. I'm gonna grab like two 15s and do all my warm ups with it. So for the concentration curl, you're gonna sit. You're gonna put the back of your tricep against your arm, uh, inside of your leg. You're coming all the way up, nice and slow down, big stretch. We're gonna do 10, 12, and max. That's our reps for the, for the rounds. So first round, we're gonna do 10 reps. Then we're gonna have a 20 second rest and we're gonna do a decline dumbbell skull crusher. So you're gonna pop your bench on a decline. If you have it, if you don't have a decline, you can do these flat. You're gonna lie back, dumbbells are up here. You're gonna come down to the shoulders, touch, try to close down that elbow joint, drive up. I'm gonna do a quick set of five here. Just get a little blood flow in the arms, triceps, biceps, get loose. Get a little blood flow in the elbows. Then, the final movement of the circuit is a decline sit up. So if you have a bench that goes on decline, you're gonna hold the dumbbell on the chest all the way down, full extension, curl back up. We are going 10 reps of each of these movements to start. Then the next set is 12, and the third set is max. Do we have any questions, team? We're gonna, I'm gonna go um, 30 on the concentration curls to start, and I'll descend in weight. I'm gonna go, we've never done decline skull crushers before in the program, so you won't have any data on that. I'm gonna start with 25, see how that feels for 10, and I'll adjust from there. And for the decline sit up, see last time I did this, I might start with a 40. We'll see how that goes. We good team? We got 10 concentration curls coming up in three, two, one. Let's work. Like I said, I'm gonna try a 30 for 10. Dumbbells on the inside of that leg, 10 reps. Up, nice and slow down. Full extension. Really got, we got plenty of time here, we got a minute. So really try to milk that rep on the way down. Come on. Woo, 30 felt good. We got 15 seconds rest team, pretty quick turnaround here. We're going 10 on the left arm. We're going in five, three, one, and we're slow on the way down, 10 reps. And then we're gonna drop our bench. 15 seconds till we got this decline skull crushers. Remember, we're trying to close down this elbow joint as much as we can and drive up. That's our full range of motion. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna try 25. See, this is only week one, so it's better to be a little bit conservative here. We're going in three, 10 reps. Nice and slow. Touch, drive.
Keep the elbows up, pointing towards the ceiling. I might be able to get 12 with that. See how it goes. Six seconds, team. Let's do it, we got 15 seconds, we got sit-ups. If you don't have a bench to do a sit decline, you can do this on the floor, just hook your feet under something. 10 reps. And three, one. And work, hold that weight on the upper chest, all the way down. Drive up. with that so we got 45 second rest coming up team round two this is our 12 rep round so if any of those wow, weights felt really heavy and you don't think you can, I know it's week one so we're kind of figuring it out but if you felt like you can get another two reps with that weight stay at that weight if you don't you can drop down one increment I'm actually gonna stay with the same weights all the way through and try to get 12 I'll definitely drop on the third set though. <laughs> 20 seconds team. We're back to concentration curls for 12. I'm going with 30 still. Just stretching out a little bit here. 10 seconds, let's get ready. One minute. Three, two, work, 12. Down, fully expand, extend the bicep. <clears throat> Woo. Track your weight in the app. Thirty for twelve. Eight seconds to finish, team. We got our left arm coming up after this 15 second break. Let's do it. Eight. Three, one, and work. Team Skull Crusher is coming up in five. Or no, sorry, 15 second rest. And there we go. 
Grab my 25s again. I definitely can get 12 out here. Think about a little pause at the bottom and really trying to initiate with those tricep muscles. Three, two, 12 reps. And work. Weighted sit ups, team. In 10 seconds. In three, one, let's work. reps. 45 seconds coming up, team. All right, we got our final round. This is our max rep set. I'm going to drop to 20s on the like, uh, concentration curls. Actually, I'm going to drop 25. I'm going to drop to 20s on the skull crushers, and I'm going to drop to 30 on the max reps and sit-ups. So a five rep drop on the both bicep and tricep ones and then a 10 on the abs. And then you're gonna track your weight and reps in the abs second, in that third column. All right, team, 10 seconds. Let's do it. Concentration curls, right arm. Three, two, max reps. So go until you feel like you can't get one more good rep. Try to get more than 12 is the goal. Come on. Whew. I got 14 with 25. We got a 15 second rest team. And we're switching arms. Saint, try to match the reps on the opposite arm. <clears throat> Three, two, one, and work.
Woo. 10 seconds to finish, team. Drop into the decline. We got skull crushers for max reps. Keep those elbows tucked in, get down nice and low. Don't let them flare out too much. Squeeze up. In seven. Palms are facing each other. And work. Slow, touch, drive. Come on. on the sit-ups. I'm dropping to a 30. Two, one, let's work, last set. Come on, keep working. Norm at the timer. <clears throat> keep working if you're working. If you got more in you. <clears throat> I got 14. Woo! All right, team. Press. Track your weight and reps. I got 15 on the Skull Crusher with 20, and I got 14 on the sit-ups. All right, team. Next circuit up. Walk us through it. So, we're doing a tricep kickback. Single arm to start. So, let me see what I... We need the space, I think. Yeah, so single arm tricep kickback. We've done similar to this, but only done double arm. So you're gonna set up like you're doing a dumbbell row, but instead of starting here, you're gonna start here. We're gonna kick back one arm at a time. Try to really, we don't want the shoulder to drop down. If anything, we wanna kick back and extend up a little bit. You'll feel more tricep. If when you get up here, when you lock out, if you lift a little bit, you will feel that tricep crushing because the part of the function of the tricep is to extend the elbow, but also the tricep kicks your arm behind your body. So if you start here, extend, and then lift a little bit, you can get a really good squeeze in the tricep. So we're gonna go 10 reps on the right arm, 10 reps in the left arm, go light here. You can't go super heavy on this movement. I might start with 15s and see how it goes. Then we're gonna do a seated, Incline hammer curl. So we've done incline dumbbell curls a lot. This time we're gonna go hammer curl. So our palms are facing each other, like we're swinging a hammer. And you're gonna lay back on an incline, a high incline. Arms are gonna stay facing, big stretch at the bottom, curl up, nice and slow down, let that stretch happen. Nice and slow back down. 10, 12 max as, as well there. Then, we're going a side oblique hip raise. So we're gonna set up on our side. 
elbow, feet stacked on top of each other, or if you want a little easier, the top foot is in front. And you can add weight to this by putting a dumbbell on your hip, squeezing up, nice and slow down, let the hip touch, drive. We're gonna go 10 on the right, 10 on the left. 12 and then max team. Any questions? So it's three movements, but it's gonna be uh, two, four, five intervals because we're doing right, left, double arm curls, right, left on the obliques. We good team, any questions? We're starting off with those tricep kickbacks. And we're gonna go in 10 seconds. I'm gonna go 15 pounds, 10 reps each side. In four, three, one, and work team. Set up, elbow up by your side, squeeze back and up. 10. Probably could have went, I probably could have started with a 20 there, but holy smokes, is it? So I'm gonna make a note in the note section and go up next week. All right, team, 10 seconds, and so we got a 15 second rest. We're gonna switch sides, do the same thing on the left arm. Two, one, 15 seconds, guys. 10 reps on the left arm. Whew. Two, one, elbow up at the side, squeeze up, lift. Slow on the way down from the top. Incline dumbbell curls, hammer style. I'm gonna try 30s on this for 10. The hammer you're a little bit stronger at. So I think I can keep up with the 30s for 10. We're going in 15. Let those arms go all the way back behind you, stretch, and then squeeze up. In five, three, one. And work team. Slow on the way down. on the next set for the 12. All right. For the side plank oblique lift, I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna put a 20 on my side, make it a little harder. I know body weight's easy for me. If body weight is challenging at all, do not add weight. Get good reps first. <clears throat> Legs are straight, feet are stacked. 10 reps. Lift up, face your chest towards the ground a little bit so you can feel it in the obliques. Nice and slow on the way back down. <sighs> 
10. Whew. We got 20 seconds to finish team, 15 seconds of rest. Stretch a little bit. Fifteen seconds coming up. <laughs> Hold on, guys. Fifteen. Quick, quick turnaround here. A minute's probably a little long to do ten reps of it, but it's okay. As we get higher up, it would be more fitting. Three, one, and we're gonna squeeze slow on the way down. Try to feel it in that underside oblique. So on the bottom. I think I can get 12 with that weight. All right, Tim, we got a 45 second rest. We're back to the tricep kickbacks. Get that little bit of extra extension at the top. We're going for 12 reps this round on everything. I am gonna go. What am I doing that? I got a 20. So I'm gonna stay with the 15 pounds, and I'm gonna go for my 12 here. Next week, I'm going up to 20 to start. All right, team. We're going in five. Kick back. Three. And work. Squeeze, lift. 12 reps. Keep that shoulder down and back, don't hunch up. Seconds to finish, team. We got three. 15 seconds. We're going left arm kick back. <laughs> 12. How are we feeling, guys? Champions train on Fridays. I love a good arm and ab workout on a Friday. No better way to end a week. Three, one, come on. Squeeze. Twelve reps. Dropping to 25s on the curls here. We got 15 seconds of rest coming up, team. Three, one. Hammer curls, hammer inclines. Let's do it. In eight. Three, one, and work. Nice and slow down. Let that stretch happen.
15 seconds, we got oblique raises. I'm gonna stay with 20s here, or a 20. Try to get 12. Three, right arm or right side. And it worked, 12 reps, team. Plenty of time here. Switch sides, 15, we got a 15 second rest coming up in 10. Excuse me. All right team, opposite side. Rotate the chest a little bit towards the floor. And up. Slow on the way down. Really feel the oblique do the work. We got a 45 second rest. We got our final round here. Max reps on the tricep kickbacks. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna drop the tens, a 10, and just try to pump it out slow, squeeze nice and slow back. Try to just get as much blood into that tricep as you can. I'm gonna go 20s on the, uh, 20s on the curls, and I'm gonna drop the 15 on the oblique raise. We're going at 15 seconds, team. Right arm. Oh, we got the wrong weight. Three. Max reps, team. Burn it out. Slow squeeze. before I felt like I needed to start doing some swinging. 20 reps with 10 pounds. We got a 15 second rest team. Come on. Opposite arm, match those reps. Woo. We're going in five, two, and work.
Ah, oh, 20. Woo! We got 15 seconds coming up. Incline hammer. We're going 20s here. Oh. 10 seconds, team. Let's do it. Three. And work. Come on. Max reps. Try to be twelve. Come on. Damn, my triceps are hurting doing bicep curls. Oh. I got 17 there. All right, oblique raises. Right side, max reps. I'm dropping to a 15. We're going in three, two, and work, team. We got 15 seconds. I got 15. Three, one, and switch sides, team. Go. Oh, 15 seconds rest. I went too fast. All right, we got a little head start. Fifteen. Oh. Oh. Finish up, we got 20 seconds, team. Oh. Ten to finish. Two, one. All right, team, last movement of the day. We got three sets of a lying leg raise or hanging leg raise. Lying, you can go on a decline to make it harder. You can do it flat, or you can do it on the floor. If you're on a bench, you're gonna grab overhead. If you're on the floor, you're gonna put your hands at your side, or you can grab onto something solid overhead, like a bench, like a couch or a chair or something. So legs straight is harder, knees bent is easier. You're gonna lift up, let the hips come up, nice and slow down. If you're doing it hanging, you can do legs straight, knees bent. You can also add a weight between your feet to make it harder. So I'm gonna add a weight between my legs, and I'm gonna drive up towards my chest, nice and controlled back down. Big stretch, pull. I'm going with a 20, I think a 25 pounder I'm doing. For 10, we're going 10, 12 max. Yeah, I'm gonna go with a 25. Do we have any questions, team? 
I'll give us a couple extra seconds. That's talking real fast. So, optional, lying leg raise, hanging leg raise. Use weight if you're doing hanging, if you can. Otherwise, you can make it harder by going leg straight. I actually feel it a little bit more in my abs with weight than I do with my leg straight, because I got tight as shit hamstrings, so that's the limiting factor. Any questions, guys? We got three sets. We're gonna have a minute for each set, and I think a 30 second rest between sets. So we're definitely gonna have to drop in weight or in the difficulty of the rest. This is a pretty quick turnaround. We're gonna go in 10 seconds, team. First set of 10 reps in seven, three, two, one. Let's work, guys. 10 reps. Hanging, grabbing the 25, bring it up. Slow on the way down. 10. It's also a freaking forearm movement if you're hanging too. You gotta hang out with extra weight if you're doing weight. I'm gonna drop to a 20 on the next set. <laughs> Go a little lighter for 12. I wanna make sure that I'm feeling it in my abs and not just fighting to get the weight up there using just hip flexors, which is easy to do. Three. Whew. Come on team. Set of 12 in 30 seconds. We're going in eight. Set two. 12 reps, guys. Let's do it. I'm going 10s on the last set, or A10. Cutting that weight in half, and really trying to pump it out. 15 seconds to finish, guys. We got a 30 second rest, and we're done. Champion straight on Fridays, guys, come on. Let's finish strong. 30 seconds rest. Walk it off, don't sit down. Get some extra steps in. Last set, in 15. I'm going with a 10 pounder here. Max reps, guys, so you can go bent knee if you're going straight leg, or just get as many as you can with whatever, whatever variation you're doing, if it's the easiest already. One. Do it. Come on. Whew. 15 seconds to finish, team. I got 15 with 10 pounds. And that concludes week one of the Apex program, guys. Lifted 5,270 pounds times two, 264 reps. 
Awesome work, guys. That's day one of the Apex program. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll be back next week on Monday, kicking off week two. Thank you, guys. Have an awesome weekend. I'll see you then. Bye.